On this podcast, I ask questions to the world's most influential books on finance, business and personal growth and receive personalized guidance based on the knowledge and wisdom contained within their pages. Join me on this journey as we explore the magic of books that can speak. Our today's guest is Get Epic Shit Done by Anku Variko. Hey there, introduce yourself to my audience. Hello. I am 376 pages long. I answer 36 life questions that you face almost every day. Questions that you need answers to. if you want to live a fulfilling life okay let's see if you can solve my problems let's start i have a problem i compare myself to others a lot how do i stop that well you compare yourself to others because you have built your world view on two false assumptions okay what are those first is that the world is a zero sum game and someone must lose for you to win wait a second isn't that how the world works no nope. the world has abundant opportunities You can win without praying for others to fail. Secondly, keep in mind that all of us are going to come across different opportunities, which means we will all end up at different places. Your temperament, family background, upbringing, your choices, your capabilities are so unique to you that no one can be like you. Since we started off differently, we will all end up differently. It's like that Taylor Swift song. I promise that you'll never find another like me. Hey okay okay turn off that song man don't want to copyright strike it's a new channel with a very few subscribers look what you are saying is very philosophical but it is really hard to practice how can i resist comparing myself to my peers when i see them doing better than me it's simple ask yourself if your friend is doing better than you will that be forever if he is earning more than you will that be true forever will you never be able to increase your income you can use your emotions to motivate yourself by simply saying what can i do to make progress you are feeling bad not because your friend is making progress it is because you are lagging behind so do something to push yourself forward keep in mind that comparing yourself to others is the worst use of your time okay Okay, point well taken. You just mentioned time, which reminded me of how bad I am at managing mine. I am a serial time waster. What do I do? Just two simple steps. Start by recording how you spend your time. Record every hour of your waking day. Once you understand how you spend your time, start scheduling your day. Prioritize what's important and also leave out some time for having fun. Well, that was quick yet concise. Next question. This one is for my friends regarding building multiple income streams. I have built my career based on my passion for writing and creating content, but all of my friends have chosen the conventional path of having a job that provides a stable income. They keep telling me how great my life is and how they would love to do what I do. But here's the thing, they do not have any idea how difficult it is to follow your passion and make money out of it. They have watched some videos on how influencers are making millions and feel that they should also be able to do it. I feel they are not being appreciative of the fact that they have a good stable income. How can my friends who have corporate jobs build multiple income streams? I agree with you on the importance of having a stable income source. Influencers have created a toxic culture of criticizing 9 to 5 jobs. They are calling corporate salaries a drug that they give you to forget your dreams. But those same salaries are paying your bills and I see no reason to forget your dreams just because you get a salary. Instead, you can use your predictable income source as the foundation on which you can build multiple income streams. You can spend a considerable amount of time exploring and pursuing your interest and you can do it without feeling pressurized to make money out of it for paying your bills. Your salary is taking care of all that. Yes, most people don't understand that. My friends don't realize how many lifestyle adjustments I have to make because of the lack of a stable income source. Anyway, I get your point. One must first create a stable predictable income stream and then think about building multiple streams of income. But how should people decide what to pursue and what kind of field to choose for building new income streams? Well, that depends on the individual. In my experience, these income streams are almost always a reflection of who you are. It could mean investing for some people or teaching for others. It could mean consulting for those who are good at it or setting up a small business with friends or family. You dedicate your time to explore your interest and what you are good at. Meanwhile, let your salary take care of everything else. Well, sadly, it doesn't hold up for me. I am a content creator, but I will definitely relay your message to my friends who have a stable job. 
For me though, the bigger question is how do I get my parents to respect my career? I come from a very small Indian village and my family has a background in farming. My YouTube channel Eclectic has garnered a diverse audience from over 10 countries. But no matter how much progress I make, it's just never enough for my parents. It's really, really frustrating. First, understand the fact that parents seeking stability for your career is not about them going against you. It is about them being scared of an unstable life. All their life, the only thing your parents cared about was stability to make sure there was food on the table and money to send you to school. So taking risks is a very foreign concept to them. In a country like India, your parents while growing up saw only two sides of life. One side where someone went to college and built a stable career in medicine, engineering or a government job. Survival was sorted for such individuals. The other side was people taking huge risks to become actors, journalists, entrepreneurs and artists. Only a handful of them achieved success or stability through this route. So your parents are worried because they do not understand why someone would not want stability and instead take huge risks. So how do I make them understand? Start by making them aware of your world and educate them on how times are changing. Don't push them otherwise you will end up irritating them. Be patient and with time make them aware of the opportunities you will get in your chosen path. You can also tell them that you are counting on their support if you fail. Hollywood actor Will Smith did the same by getting into an agreement with his mother to come up with his first album. He said, Mom, if my album didn't work out, I would go to college. And he never had to. Well, that was a lot to take in. I will give it a try with my parents and see if it works. In the next part, I will ask you more questions about building high impact skills and careers in the 21st century. If you want your most important questions answered regarding business, personal growth and personal finance, stay connected. Hey.